I'm Dario Franchitti. We're here at Gordon Murray Automotive, and this is the T33 Spider. We're here at Gordon Murray Automotive with the fourth car in series, T33 Spider. T50 is already in production. T50S just in build right now. We're about to start testing that. It's going to be exciting. T33 just starting testing as well. And then T33 Spider. It has the Gordon Murray Cosworth V12 in the back. It revs to 11,100 RPM. We've just over 1,100 kilos. So it's only 18 kilos heavier than the hardtop car. And it's got 600, call it 620 horsepower, so, or 620 PS as they say. So it's, um, it's actually got a better power to weight ratio than the McLaren F1, which when you consider it's a Spider, is quite impressive. And as you can see, it is just a beautiful car. I love the color. I love little bits like the, the seam running down from the back wing and then all the way down the front wing through the, the headlights as well, and then continuing right to the bumper. When you sit in the driver's seat, you get such a good view, such a low scuttle height, that you can see clearly these beautiful wings and it helps you guide the car down the road. And uh, it's gonna take some guiding because it's gonna be, as we talked about with those figures, it's gonna be quick. Very driver-centric interior again. It's got a very similar layout to, to T50 in the way that the instruments and everything work together, um, but obviously left or right-hand drive. And sort of the boring stuff, but this car is fully federalized, and that means it can go into America, but that means it's very, very expensive to develop, and you've got to crash a lot of 33s and 33 Spiders to gain certification. It, it's not an easy thing to do. You see the, the style of the car, the target top, the roll hoop, better for, for aerodynamics, and. Frankly, that's the way Gordon wanted the car to look. And him and Kevin Richards came up with this beautiful shape. Kevin Richards is the artistic director at, at, uh, at Gordon Murray. You see the, the snorkel here for the, for the V12. You're really gonna be close to the action. When you're, when you're sitting there, and you've got this lovely induction roar. I mean, T50's got an incredible induction roar. Even with the snorkel and the carbon tub between you and the snorkel where the air's going in. This is right next to you. This is going to be a lot of fun. So let's take a look at the physical engine. It was originally developed for T50, but the plan was always to use it on multiple platforms. And it is quite an engine. Cosworth developed V12, 3.9 liters, and it is beautiful to look at, as well as the, the performance of it. You can see on the front here, this is the, the ISG, the integrated starter generator, and it takes the place of the alternator, the starter motor, and that allows this very clean view of the engine, and that was really important to Gordon. He wanted it to look like 60s Formula One V12 engines, and he's, well, he's absolutely nailed it. And if you look at the other end, with the back removed from the engine, it doesn't have belts or chains, it's got these gears all intertwined and that allows it to rev, in T50's case, to over 12, T33 and 33 Spider's case, over 11. But it's a very expensive way of uh, developing a, a road car engine. But again, just no compromises in this, this engine. The same in 50, the same in 33 and 33 Spider. Gordon just doesn't do compromise. You see it's got yellow cam covers orange on T50 and that differentiates them a little bit. Different character in this engine, 1,000 less revs, 11.1 against 12.1 for T50. The torque comes in a little bit lower as well, which, trust me, I've spent a lot of time driving 50. It does not need a lot more torque. It's already third, fourth, fifth gear. It pulls like an absolute train. So this is gonna be a really spectacular engine in its, in its own right. And when you consider the the air box coming up in 33 Spider and being right next to your head. It's gonna be quite a bit of theater, I think. You see the, the pipes coming through up over the top, clearing the bottom of the car for aerodynamics. And as I said, as well as being uh, an incredible piece of engineering, it just looks good. 
We have to talk a bit of usability. Nothing to do with performance, but everything to do with usability. The luggage bay, it, uh, it opens a sort of a three-dimensional movement, not just straight out. And you see how much space we've got in here. Before you take the roof off, you've got 295 litres of luggage space. And the, the roof goes in the front. You've still got these two big panniers to put your luggage in. Any of you that are into cars watching this, you probably are if you're watching this, are gonna be saying, show us the wheels. And it's one of the first things I always look at at a car, and I really think they've nailed the wheels on 33 Spider, as they have with the other cars, but these are completely different than the wheels for, for 33 itself. And they're just lovely. When I see this, I, I go back to being a, a 17 year old, I've just got my driving license. I think, oh, those are absolutely cool. They're, you look at how lightweight they are as well, but they just look Fantastic, you see that big brake caliper, the big brake disc through the, through the rim as well. Good work, team. I think we should sit in the best seat in the house here. I'm not gonna put my seatbelt on because I'm not going anywhere, but uh, if you're fortunate enough to be a, a T50 owner, this is gonna feel very familiar. This sort of driver-centric um, cockpit, the the same sort of shift mechanism, reverse lockout, and the switches are very familiar and part of the, the Gordon Murray automotive family. Difference on the steering wheel, same shape, but four spoke, 33 is a three spoke wheel. You've got the same switch gear, rev counter, same shape, slightly different. It doesn't go up quite as high, but as you sit in this car, the two things that really are, are, are clear to me, you've got obviously the the induction right here, and that is gonna be an intense experience as that V12 revs up to the red line at 11.1. You're just so much closer to, well, to the engine in, a, in an open car, but then also the, the elements as well, um, whether that's the sunshine, in some cases the rain, you know, all, all those things. And then you look forward and you see these lovely wings. You see how it goes up to those, that crease in the center of the wing, and that really allows you to position the car with with pinpoint accuracy. And if the open top's not enough, the glass behind you, between you and the engine cover, that comes down as well for a, an even more open, uh, open experience. And you see the upcycled carbon here. That's, um, that's part of the, the uh, ultra light way of, of constructing cars. And that's a, one of Gordon's ideas and it stems from his ice stream way of doing things. It makes it very strong and very light. So, when you look at the components of these cars, these cars being 50, 33, 33 Spider, not so much 50S, because 50S is a track car. It's, it's, um, it's got racing car parts in it. But if you look at the other cars in the, the GMA lineup, look at the jewel-like quality of the parts. And you look down at the pedals, they feel great on your feet and they work incredibly well, but they're jewel-like, same with 50. And that was, again, one of the things that Gordon and the team wanted to, to emphasize was, was that beauty, was that just making it, making it pretty as well as making it as absolutely functional as it possibly can be. Now, one very often overlooked part of a car is, well, just the seat. You know, it's so important, especially if you're planning on doing any kind of miles on a car, it's got to be comfortable. You've got to be able to sit in the correct position and then you've got to have good side support. You can't be getting out with a sore back and these seats, they're, they're very different than the, the, the seats from T50, but they are uh, already even just sitting in the model. They're really comfortable. And um, yeah, I think the, the, the team that does the seats, we've got teams for everything, but the team that does the seats, they've done a really good job with these. Can't wait to get behind the wheel of this one.